shoes like that. It's worth pausing the recording for. Are you kidding me? Those Skechers? They are Skechers, you stylish son of a gun. Look at you. Those are very nice. Nice shoes, so caught my eye. You took them off? Can I show the crowd? Where... No? Why'd you take it off, then? It's a beautiful shoe. Flaunt that shoe. You wear that shoe to the gym? Looks like a gym. No? You got separate shoes? Are they Skechers as well? You Skechers, man? No? You diversify the shoe portfolio? <laughs> Respect. Respect. I've started getting back into the gym lately, man. I don't do too much. I pick up the weights for a couple exercises, then I get on the elliptical for 45 minutes. You guys ever use the elliptical? No idea what muscle I'm working. I have no idea. Has no practical application in the everyday world, unless you're like a cross-country skier in the off-season or something. Otherwise, just gliding through the air. No idea what's going on. I take my hearing aids out at the gym. I go full death mode. It's amazing, man. I don't listen to any of the grunting or the terrible music. But I had a weird thing happen to me at the gym. I was full death mode on the elliptical, right? And this employee came up to me and he had like a clipboard. So I think he had some questions for me, I don't know. But he comes up and he's like, excuse me, I don't know what he said. I had my hearing aids out. So I was like, oh, sorry, dude, can't talk, I'm deaf. I thought that would be the end of it. He goes, oh, he starts signing at me. I don't know sign language. I was like, uh, no, I don't sign either. He's like, oh, and he just walked away. But I could tell he was so confused, he was like, but he said he was deaf, but he doesn't sign. And he was talking to me. Did that son of a bitch just lie about being deaf? I don't judge anybody for their lifestyle choices, but the Fitbit, I have a bit of a hard time with. Whenever I'm talking to someone and I see they have a Fitbit on, I'm like, oh no. I'm talking to someone who needs a device to remind them to walk every day. <laughs> what other mundane daily chores do you need help with? You know what I mean? How can I trust this conversation is even real? Maybe there's some sort of word quota you're trying to hit for the day. Maybe you got a chit chat bit on the other wrist over there. <laughs> Looks like you have 10,000 words. You can shut the hell up. A lot of guys wearing tight clothes at the gym now, too. Not even just at the gym, in general. It's like socially acceptable for guys to wear leggings. Guys are wearing the shorts and the leggings. Sometimes no shorts, just pure leggings. See young, cool kids, college kids, high school kids. If I would have shown up to high school one day wearing leggings, that wouldn't have been a very fun day for me. But now society accepts it. It's progress. It's, you gotta tip your hat to the first company that made it okay. The first company that recognized that for years, men have been looking at women in spandex. And we've been thinking, damn, that looks comfortable. <laughs> if only there was some way I was allowed to wear that. But no, I can't wear spandex, I'll be ridiculed. And then this company came along and they said, what if we told you it's not spandex? What if we told you it's armor? Like a tank or an armadillo, real tough stuff. Armor. Under armor, what a brilliant marketing strategy. Under is a key word too, right? They snuck that one in there. They were like, yeah, just wear it under your other clothes. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> under armor, brilliant. Now it doesn't even have to be under armor, man. It's not even under anything. You got guys just walking around in a single layer. Guys walking around wearing Lululemon in these streets, man. No repercussions. What a time to be alive. What a time. I just wish guys would be more honest. You still got guys making up like athletic reasons for why they wear it, you know? Like, oh no, I have to wear this for my elite athletic performance. It keeps my muscles warm and wicks away my perspiration and keeps me aerodynamic out there. I'm like, aerodynamic? Dude, you're on the elliptical right beside me. You're, you're fine, you're slicing through the wind. It's a hell of a machine. Makes you feel sexy, that's fine, it's okay. I got one of the shirts, not super tight, but tighter than I've ever owned, and 
I get it, you know? <laughs> Hugs my skin, makes me feel like Batman. I'm all in, I get it. <laughs> I don't have the pants yet. I'm not there yet. Just not there. It's still a little bit jarring for me to see an exact outline of your vacuum shield dick and bow, but that's... <laughs> That's on me. I'm just not there. Keep some fresh, I guess. <laughs>